Well, the most common cause of colon cancer is, um, gen is a family history. Um, occasionally we'll see, however, these occur in patients with no family history, and they are sort of what we call sporadic. Uh, there is some genetic forms of colon cancer, but they're quite rare. The most common symptoms of colon cancer is bleeding. Now, patients will also come in with changes in bowel habits, abdominal pain, rarely weight loss, um, and there are some patients who will actually feel some abnormalities in their abdomen, that, and that will lead them to come in to see us. The bleeding still is the most common uh, first symptom that leads patients to come in for evaluation. When patients come in with bleeding in my office, if it's a younger patient, we look at more simple problems like anal fissures and, and uh, hemorrhoids. But if the older patient comes in with bleeding, this leads to a much longer series of more complex testing. The most common test that, that gets done for bleeding is a colonoscopy, which we perform in outpatient centers. After the bleeding and we've done a colonoscopy, there can be several different things that we would find during that examination. Uh, polyps being a common source of bleeding, um, inflammatory bowel disease being a common source of bleeding, and of course the one we're most concerned to find early is colon cancer. Well, there are two reasons why people come in for colonoscopy specifically. One we've talked about is the bleeding. The other is age. Um, we do a routine screening colonoscopy on everybody when they reach age 50. And all the studies have shown it is appropriate to look at patients when they reach age 50, even if they're not having any complaints. We are trying to identify those individuals wh which are having no complaints who, ha who are making what are called polyps. And polyps are benign growths in the colon that lead to colon cancer. And if you get them out early, you can significantly decrease the risk of colon cancer. Thank you.